So Republicans are trying to pawn off blame for the failure of our institutions to prevent the pandemic from spreading here. And the new trick is to call the virus Chinese virus. That's how Trump's referring to it. A lot of Republicans are in lockstep with him. So here's Trump and Senator Cornyn on this. And then I'm going to break down what about this is like very pernicious and bad. What part of it is fair? Um, and we'll dive into it after you see. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bi bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot it of people say it's China. racist. It's not racist at all. No, not at all. It comes from China. That's why comes from China. I and want to be accurate. About yeah, please, John. Please. You. Are you I have the great. Term? I have great love uh, for all of the people from our country. But uh, as you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they stopped now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, it comes from China. Are you on board with the President Collins China virus, Chinese virus? Does it seem like that that's helpful right now to call it that? That's where it came from. But is it helpful? It alienates people? It sort of sends like tones like that this, there's someone to blame, that there is a group of people to blame? Well, I think China is to blame because they're, the culture where people eat bats and snakes and dogs and things like that these viruses are transmitted from the animal to the people, and that's why China has been the source of a lot of these viruses like SARS, like MERS, the swine flu, and now the coronavirus. So I think they have a fundamental problem, and I don't uh, object to geographically identifying where, where it's coming from. Right, then it's connected to Asian Americans. The Asian Americans are feeling like it is a racist thing. Oh, I, I disagree. Uh, I don't think uh, we're not talking about Asians. We're talking about... China, where these viruses emanate from and which are created this, this pandemic. So to respond to uh, Senator Cornyn there, swine flu is from Mexico. MERS stands for Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. It's from the Middle East. It's not from China. Um, mad cow disease started in the UK. And many people don't know this, but Spanish flu actually started in Kansas start in the U.S. The reason it's called Spanish flu is because our media and our government was trying to suppress it and not report on it. Um, and at the same time, the only country whose press was reporting on it was Spain. Um, it was during World War I, and I think they were neutral, and they were reporting on it. And so we, it's been called Spanish flu, but it started in the U.S. So in other words... The argument he's making is not true. The argument of like, all oh, these viruses come from China. That's not true. This one comes from China. Um, and yes, you absolutely can point it out because it's a fact. But let's talk about what they're doing here because it's not... They're not just trying to be like factually accurate. They're not just trying to be like scientifically correct. No. What they're doing here is... And Trump is the best example because he's so heavy-handed with it. What Trump is trying to do is pawn off blame and distract from the failures of our institutions and put all, all the blame on China. And that's why, guys, he's not even saying the coronavirus, which comes from Wuhan, or COVID-19 from China, because that, that's the actual name of the virus. The name of the virus is COVID-19. It's in the family of coronaviruses. But he's dropping the actual name of the virus to just call it Chinese virus. Why is he doing that? Again, to pawn off responsibility for the failure of our institutions. So, in case you didn't know, Trump fired our pandemic experts in 2018, cut the CDC, cut Health and Human Services. Um, we didn't have the proper number of ventilators for a pandemic. We didn't have the proper number of masks for a pandemic. We don't have the proper number of tests for a pandemic. We don't have the proper number of ICU beds for a pandemic. He downplayed the virus immediately upon the stories of the first couple cases being here in the U.S. and compared it just to the regular flu and said there's nothing to really worry about and dragged his feet, dragged his feet, dragged his feet, and then finally when it exploded and he had to take it seriously, then now he's pretending to play Mr. Serious. So he knows it's bad. He sees what's happening, and he can't 
take full responsibility and say, we should have been prepared. We should have acted differently. So what does he do? Just Chinese virus, Chinese, 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 Chinese. And just so you know, this actually is coinciding with a, a spike in crimes against Asian Americans and they are being scapegoated. And it's a shame if people, you know, look at them like, oh my God, you must have it. You're Chinese, which I know is stupid. But remember in this country, it was something like 30% of Americans said, I'm not even going to have a Corona beer because of the coronavirus. What? <laughs> oh, things aren't connected at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? So that's why what they're doing is BS. I'm not like other people who get maybe a little too oversensitive on this where they say, you're not even allowed to bring up where the virus originated. That's not fair. No, it, you totally are allowed to bring that up. That's accurate. That's factual. So you can talk about the origins of it. The origins are what's called, yes, a wet market in China where they have all these exotic wild animals and they're all in cages next to each other and it's ripe for spreading diseases. So you can talk about that. But to say like what Cornyn said there, where it's like, this only happens in China, that's just factually wrong. And if you think those practices are bad, wait till you get a load of factory farming, which happens here in the United States. It's really hard to sit there and cast judgment on the wet markets in China, which by the way, I do cast judgment on it, but we also have the factory farming and I also cast judgment on that. And you should cast judgment on that because that's bad. What you think, you know, oh, we eat cows and, and pigs and somehow that's not like weird, bad, gross, but it is when you eat other animals. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but a pig's IQ is similar to that of a dog. You know, it's not like he thinks, it, and you could tell they think this, that like there's something that's inherently reasonable, rational, and civilized about the kind of things we eat versus how they eat. It's just, it's a stretch. It's a stretch. And of course, you could tell he has no idea what he's talking about when he tries to say SARS and MERS and all these, they, they all come from China. Actually, MERS, like I said, from the Middle East. I'll give you the list again. Swine flu is Mexico. MERS is from the Middle East. Mad cow started in the UK. And Spanish flu started in the US. <laughs> so, no, a virus is a virus is a virus. A pandemic is a pandemic is a pandemic. And um, I don't really care where it started. I care about us stopping it. And the way we stop it is to take responsibility and to do everything we can from a health perspective, from a safety perspective, from a preparedness perspective. And we simply didn't do that. And that's why Trump has now gone all in on Chinese virus, Chinese virus, Chinese virus, Chinese virus. The criticism I do have of the Chinese government, though, and this is a totally fair criticism, is it is true that there were mem there was some, I don't know what a, his title was, communications director or something in the in the Chinese government who was trying to say the U.S. started this. That's nonsense. Um, and th so they are doing propaganda. And also there were reports that when this virus initially started all the way back in December, there was there were doctors who were blowing the whistle on it and the Chinese government tried to shut them up, tried to shut up the doctor and doctors um, as opposed to dealing with the health, health crisis. So they didn't do containment up front and then when it got out of hand, then they contained it and went on total lockdown. And as a result of that, yes, it ended up spreading all around the world. So, but again... You can blame that action, and I do, and you should, but let's stop pretending like our response has been better. Trump effectively did the same thing when he's out there, you know, talking about, um, oh, this is just like the flu, this is not serious. It literally took Tucker Carlson flying to Mar-a-Lago to meet with Trump at a place where people all had the coronavirus. It took Tucker Carlson going there and saying, dude, this isn't a Democratic hoax, this is serious, and you need to take it seriously. So, you know, it, it's too heavy handed. Don't the Chinese virus. No, you want to say it's COVID-19. It's coronavirus. Yes. You want to say, hey, it did originate in China. That's a fact. That's fine, too. You want to say, hey, they're blaming American soldiers. That's not OK. That's fine, too. But when you try to pretend like on, viruses only come from there, that's BS. And when you try to just call it Chinese virus, yes, you're scapegoating and that it does have negative consequences. And one of those consequences is there has been an uptick in you know, crimes against uh, Asian Americans as a result of it. So here we are again, um, the president and the Republicans really trying everything they can from a marketing perspective to pawn off responsibility for their abysmal failure at governing.